Good morning guys, how are you doing? So today is weekend again and I'm here in my garden and you know our garden is like a friend or a family that you can visit and talk to anytime and can make you smile and feel better when you're around them. And also I'm here because and just checking if the rain damaged my plant, you know, too much rain caused root rot in our succulent. But so far this beautiful shade is doing well. This part here which is exposed to full sun is turning into yellow. But around here in a partly shaded area, it's yellow green. Oh, yellow around outside the leaf and the inside is green. It's beautiful and over this side we just check if our uh, bed garden or tapestry have some damage of too much rain um so far so far so good so just this one here is not looking happy but my ionium that i planted from the small piece like this is growing big and my uh, and my jelly bean, green jelly bean or red jelly bean is really green and healthy. My blue metal is really stressed. Look at the color, so beautiful. And our Ionium kiwi, it's also beautiful. Turning to yellow, stress color. Still beautiful guys, so it means the rain didn't affect them so much they look so healthy look at this Fred Ives my blue jelly bean and look at my freely it's so big a chevia freely I don't know what sort what's the identification it's just given to me by a friend and it's beautiful but over here you can see one of my embricata is not doing so good but only one but that's fine and the embricata is hiding because of this fred ives the fred ives got too big and the francisco baldi eye oh i think a francisco baldi look at that it turns into a beautiful color beautiful but guys my video for today guys is about my leaf propagation that is growing in grow light so it's time for me to do some update again let's go to my mini greenhouse and let's check what's happening in my leaf propagation using the bloom plus grow light oh look at this guys this is my ghost plant it's so beautiful look at the color so these are just exposed here in the weather winter weather and i'm so happy they're looking good they're looking healthy and they're growing nicely beautiful beautiful color mm, very happy very happy all right so let's go to my mini greenhouse with grow light oh, look at this <laughs> all right guys so here we are in my mini little greenhouse with the crow light with the bloom plus crow light here you go i have this francisco baldi eye but not exposed to the full sun it's just partly morning sun and my embricata look at this that was damaged by the too much rain mm, i don't know why so here is my leaf propagation Oops. there you go so this leaf propagation guys is really growing so fast seems i cannot keep up with it <laughs> two weeks ago i just repotted some and now i think i need to repot again so i need to repot the what we call this cubic frost and also need to repot this purple delight and also we need to repot this blue metal here so i can't keep up they're growing so fast 
Look at my uh, snow peach, guys. So big. Look at that. And this one have a massive growth after two weeks. And also my lavender pebbles. Look at that. This is the mother plant is here. <laughs> look at how little my mother plant. And look at the leaf propagation. So I think I need to just pluck them all out because they're not doing well. And probably grow it as a leaf propagation. What do you think guys? Look at the difference. And look at this Laptopetalum chocolate. Look at that growth. So beautiful. And well, massive growth. Beautiful. And the bronze delight guys. Look at this. Beautiful. And the purple delight that I reported last two weeks ago. They improve again. They grow much bigger. And as you notice guys, you cannot see a single ants running around in my greenhouse at the moment before every time i open it well it's infested with ants as you remember i sprinkled some ant killer here and i think and i think that ant killer guys is working well so yeah i think it is a successful one as we know that the ants are one of the cause of mealybugs and aphids in our succulent so by eliminating those ants we will have probably a free aphids and mealybugs in our succulent in our baby succulent so before I put them back I check for aphids and remove the aphids but as you know it's hard to detect all the aphids so we have to check here and there for the aphids and look at this one here now. Aphids is gone. I'm happy. I'm really happy guys that these granules, this one here, that I spread here, as well as in the plant, I spread some. It's working well. Beautiful. I think it is a help. So, but this will just work for two months. And then after that, you're just going to reapply again but hey it is a good result okay and look at my leaf propagation that i put it here look at this one guys they already have babies look at that so this is ready to be planted in the soil see that Beautiful. So having this grow light and propagating during winter time with a grow light like this, it's really a massive help. Really, really a good help having a grow light. I'm not sure if every grow light has a different result because this is only my first grow light that I experienced, the Bloom Plus One. I haven't experienced any other grow light but with this grow light I am so happy with the result it really helped me with my leaf propagation look at this one here look at that see I already have some growth on these or babies on this leaf propagation and that's have roots there you go so some of them are ready to be repotted in the soil let's get some plants here guys to um, to compare with the leaf propagation that I have in my other greenhouse that has no grow light so you have to get the Laptopetalum chocolate probably we took out these agavoids and as well as the purple delight there all right we take that one take those ones guys and then compare it to my mini greenhouse with no grow light all right guys so we're here now in my other greenhouse 
without grow light so it's just screen this green house are very open it's open here and over there it's just open so we have an air circulation moving here in my other greenhouse but without grow light so let's compare the growth from grow light and without grow light so we start with the so this one here this is some of my lactopetalum that I covered it with this mesh because the bird is coming in my greenhouse and flicking out all those uh, leaf propagation in the tray like this so now this is my Leptopetalum chocolate that is growing here in my greenhouse without grow light so that's the date I started to propagate them so I already got a few um, babies coming up some of them they don't have any some of them just only roots there but look at the one growing in the grow light we compare it and this is the growth with the grow light look at the difference guys so they are plucked the same time propagated the same time so with the grow light without the grow light so guys doing a leaf propagation with grow light is really inspiring because you really get a good positive result so move on to another one so we go with this bronze delight this bronze delight is growing in the greenhouse with grow light and this is my bronze delight look ugly <laughs> growing in this greenhouse without without the grow light look at that they also grow but you look at it they don't look good at all compared to this see difference look at this is very thick and this one is very spacey isn't it guys yeah all right move on to another plant so this one here is echeveria agavoid lipstick so this is my echeveria agavoid lipstick growing without grow light you see that it's so small i think there's aphids there too and this one here is growing in the grow light look how the difference look at the difference of the growth there you go how about this purple delight so here's another purple delight that I haven't repotted yet and I will get the other purple delight that is growing here in my greenhouse without grow light so guys here is my purple delight they are planted together same time same diet um, this one is growing in my mini greenhouse with grow light and this one is growing here in my greenhouse without grow light look at the difference this is also beautiful and it's compact it's been sitting there in that shelf above there close to the the roof and it's getting a bright light there so that's the growth and this one in the grow light there's still massive difference this one is really this one is ready for repotting this one's still small but i think i need to thin it out to give this uh, babies a room to grow beautiful i think purple delight is really nice to propagate because you will get a positive result even without grow light there but with grow light you can just have a quick quick growth there you go so that's it guys that's the difference of having a grow light and without grow light i have some leaf propagation here in this 
little mini greenhouse that's sitting in my greenhouse <laughs> that's the growth very slow very very slow but I think I'm going to put it this one in the outdoor in the sunlight and see how it goes see very slow growing very very slow they are not looking the best <laughs> not looking good there you go all right so they're back guys and i need to do some watering because some of them are the soil are dry some of them still wet so with the wet one i will not go into water it but with the dry one i will go into water them and just to recap i'll show you again what is this granules that I use here to prevent the ants from coming in my greenhouse and planting their aphids and mealybugs in my babies because these ants and mealybugs and aphids they work hand to hand or they work together so with eliminating the ants we can probably we can control the aphids going to our precious succulent babies all right so the one i use is this ant flea and tick killer i'm only using this for the ant so so far i put this one last week and so far i haven't seen any single ant crawling and moving around my greenhouse before oh my goodness it's infested with ants ants everywhere under the pot in my succulent lots of aphids and mealybugs but now oh gosh nothing nothing at all even my cubic frost the ants love it so i treated this one last week and i cannot see aphids and ants there and mealybug so hmm i think it's working guys so if you can get yourself with this one it says here it's a fast acting easy to apply sand formulation outdoor control for up to two months effective even after rain there you go guys try this and spread this one to the place that the ants is crawling and to your plant as well so I spread out here some granules if you can see those sand looking one granules so I put it in the plants and it says here it says here that it's ready to use shaker pack highly effective fast acting formula ideal for use on lawns gardens pads pavers and other hard surfaces around the house provides a barrier of protection on outdoor surfaces controlling ants before they get inside the house although less safe to plants so that's the main thing guys it's say safe to plants when used as directed and rain will not affect the performance so far my plants are all right they're not affected with it and they look happy because <laughs> they look healthy so there you go guys i hope this video for today will help you with your leaf propagation and also guys if you like to get one of this grow light so i'm not sure if when you do your leaf propagation i'm not sure if having a quality grow light will going to give you a difference in growing your leaf propagation because i only got one grow light i don't have any comparison to do but i'm so happy with my grow light because it's really growing fast for me i can even keep up on repotting them and yeah look at this one just look at this one guys this is a snow peach and the one i put in my greenhouse without grow light is that one not much growth so i decided to take it out from there and put it here 
and now it's growing and now it's giving me a bit of growth now just for a week of moving it here and also yeah some of these so this one highs i took this one out from the other greenhouse too because i want more of these and now look at this it's also growing nicely if i leave this one in my other greenhouse without grow light then i don't have any result at all so by putting it here i did have a good result so guys here is the solution for my problem in this leaf propagation is the grow light so if you want to check it out my grow light guys from bloom plus i will leave the link in my description box and comment box if you want to check it out and yes you can order it from there and i would like to thank bloom plus for sending me this beautiful grow light and letting me have experience growing uh, leaf propagation using this beautiful grow light thank you bloom plus for sending me this one and giving me a chance to uh, use a grow light like this so guys i highly recommend this grow light it's really really good grow light although it's a bit heavy it's solid but it's really really good grow light so for now guys that's it for today and then i'm going to have another two weeks or three weeks of um update again and see how it goes with our uh, leaf propagation and I hope this video will inspire you and if you're not subscribed yet please consider to subscribe and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time you have a new video like this you will be notified and you will not miss a thing and guys please give our video a thumbs up and also share our video and I hope I'll see you in the comment box and I will see you next time thank you for watching Bye!